Hey guys, my name is Seniac and welcome back to another episode of Sim City. We'll be back in what is temporarily called Harper Plains, the brand new city we built last episode. Which technically, I've now classed it as my very own paradise, like legit, it's the most perfect city I've built. Only because of how quickly we managed to expand it to the current population, how much money it's actually making. I don't know how this has happened guys, I legit do not know how this has happened, but it's happened. That's all I can say right now, it's freaking happened, and we are going to enjoy it. So, if you are enjoying SimCity, guys, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new in the end, then make sure you do subscribe. But, guys, some things have been brought to my attention. And I say to my attention, it's more me. I kind of thought of something. So, before we get on to that, first, we got to rename the city. Now, for the amount of times I said it's so perfect, it's like a paradise. And like you guys said, you're saying, why don't you call it Fool's... Uh, paradise right now and I thought you know what I might as well shebang falls paradise but this whole little city right now if you think about it the reason I built it to get so much population is so in falls um Fool folio hills we could make the university get like a ton of students and we can expand it and get those high-tech high educated workers and it will kind of create then high-tech industry well the problem is with folio hills I'm struggling to break even. Even if I did get a thousand students, they're ready to level it up. Um, can't quite afford it. And it kind of hit me. Seniac, why don't you place university in this town? Because then Folio Hills won't have to pay for a university, so they'll have more money per hour. I currently have 20,000 per hour right now in this city. This could totally afford a fully expanded university. And then it hit me, guys. I'm so dumb. <laughs> so, yeah, it makes sense. We also got in, last episode, the Mayor's Mansion. Kind of been working on expanding it a bit. But it might be a good idea to place it up over here. Or even in this little section for the university. Which, I can't believe we didn't think of it before right now. So, before I go delete it in the other city, I'm actually going to place it down in here. So, when we go back to the other city, they know that this university exists. So, I don't have to keep loading one or two save games up all the time. So... Damn, I, I can't believe I never thought that before, right? This city has more than enough money to kind of keep this rocking and rolling. Now, university would fit perfectly there, but I would have to delete that road to do some future expansions. I could squeeze it up over here, which would be like a really, really good idea as well, which is going to get rid or kind of not, not like, you know, suffer the most population downturn. <laughs> that didn't really make sense. This is one road. This would be four roads. So I think it makes sense to kind of place it here. So I am going to get rid of this road here, unfortunately. I'm so, so sorry. So, so sorry right now. And I'm going to place the university. Now, do I get it on this road here? I know it's getting rid of these big buildings, but... From the get-go, we are going to have a beauty of a university right now. I'm going to drop it there. Why not? Why freaking not? So, close for hiring, but let's do a little bit of expansions to begin with. Now, let me get to edit it. Excuse me, I want to edit you. We can first start with dropping down the university sign, of course, which goes there. And then, at the moment, we're only approved to build three dormitories. So, I could... Can we extend this? Yes, off there. And can I cut it into there? Yep. And kind of bring that up to there. Just so I can take advantage of some of these areas. Technically I could have the road go straight across. Oh actually do you know what? Let me let me delete this. Because I knew it wasn't exactly a straight line. Now I'm not saying traffic going to drive through it. But if they wanted to they could. There we go. And if I take that up to there. It might be pushing it a bit too far. Oh snap. I didn't mean to delete you there. There we go. So we kind of make it like, even if they do do that, you know, skip through it, it's possible. But not to make it too much of a shortcut, we kind of do those little indentations. And there we go. So dormitories. This really increases the student housing that is available. Now, like I said before, it's probably going to get rid of a lot of my zoning around. So i got to be a little bit careful. How about I just place in one for now? Which I'll place just here. 
oh, it hurts to place it down. It hurts to place it down and lose some residential. But trust me, it's going to be good in the long run. It's going to be good in the long run. So students will make their way over. It's closed for hiring. Once it's open like this and it starts gaining students, we'll then go to Folio Hills and get rid of it there. Oh, my good God. Where do all those people just come from right now? Where did they all just come from? Are they coming to university? Yes, they are. Already got 68, 137, 208. Holy smokes, is that jumping up right now? There's a whole lot more to come in. Right. Now we know that's in here. I'm just kind of paying attention. Is there more about to go in? There's more going in. I've already beaten the record in the other town. Let's just kind of throw that out there right now. I've already beaten that record. Damn, boy. That's kind of crazy. That really is. Do I place down the... No, I won't place the next dormitory down. Right, let's go to Folio Hills then. And we're going to get rid... Because it needs civilians right now. It's quite poor. It's going to go bankrupt. But we get rid of the university there. So everyone travels over there instead. And then that gives me the ability to expand this a little bit more. So look at that. I'm minus 860. This is costing us uh, 1,600 to run. So if I get rid of that. There we go. They can now all... Oh, I need to get that. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah. The bus terminal. So they can jump on the bus terminal. And then get to wherever they need to get to. And at the moment, it's only um, Fool's Paradise. But the students can go there instead. Which then means we go back to making money in this town. <clears throat> to pay for future expansions. I can get the additional roads down right now over here. And what we're saying. Should I get a little bit of commercial over here? Because this city was always complaining about there's not enough commercial. So it'll be good for those guys. They'll love me forever. I'm just waiting for that little bit of chunk of change to come in so I can drop down. There we go. A little bit more there. Right. Commercial around that little section just there. Can we squeeze a little bit of commercial there? I don't know if you'll be able to build in there, but give them the option if they need to. So there we go. We're back to normal. We're making money. Students will travel to Fool's Paradise to learn and get smart right now. That is what we are hoping that they'll do. So back to the region view. Let me spin this around over here. In terms of uh, education right now, so a lot of people are coming over here. Now, that's because we did have the university over here, and that's also because we do have the high school over here as well. But you can see all those vehicles now going down the highway to Fool's Paradise. They are traveling right now to hit up that university. That's what they're doing. Um, I wonder if... Does that ever update? I don't think it does. But uh, enough time should now assimilate it to where they understand they can go that way. So if I load it now back up, Fool's Paradise. I'm hoping we can hit that thousand students mark. I mean, we already hit like half of it. When the other one was in here as well. So that was kind of good. So move back to the region view again. I fast forward. And they're coming from over here right now in terms of education. Now we're still sending people over. Which is weird. But they will come in their time. They will come slowly and gradually. Let me spin back around them. And uh, again, just give it some time. So this itself, by plopping down the university, will enable more expansions to happen around the city. Because again, we have those facilities now rocking and rolling. Uh, we ended up, well, we got so far 646 on the day. Have they got a quest for me to do? Uh, do I just drop straight in now? The next one of these. Oh, I wonder if I can get two in here. 40,000 there. Yes, boys. Okay, I'll just drop both of them in. Because I can. Damn, this university is going to be jazzy. <laughs> this is going to be real jazzy right now. So all the dormitory does is allow more students to stay on the campus. Is that is that right in me saying that? 
So now it's a 700. I see a lot of people coming out of it. Oh, a lot of people walking in. We should... We've already up done. We've got to upgrade right now at this point. Damn, we did that pretty quick. Okay, okay, okay. So we've upgraded it right now. It's now costing us 3,100 an hour to do. I can't start our project yet. Because I don't have any of these at the moment. But that's okay. We're going to go back to editing this. And then we can do one or one thing next. So the School of Science is what we need to make people super smart and enable us to create a high-tech industry. So if we if we start with that then, that building, and where should we kind of throw it in? Wherever I place it, it's going to have a negative... Oh, I can place it there. We won't have too much negative impact at the minute to these guys just there. So one building down. There we go. And then we'll see how this ticks along. Nearly 1,400 students on the day. But let's see how it goes. Now, public transport is... Well, it's not really existing, but traffic is quite bad. So is this the moment where we upgrade our roads to incorporate the streetcars? I mean, for me to do that, I also have to place down the streetcar depot, which is quite expensive. But it will enable more... I mean, it's not really going to do much for us. It's literally going down here, back and forth up there, down to there, then up there. I'm not really getting much out of it, really. Well, I feel like I'm not going to be able to get much out of it. Let me take a look. So we've done a load of bus stuff. Don't have streetcars. We have train over here. How well is that train stop doing right now? Yeah, it's doing fairly okay. Boats, we can't get any in. Planes, that's not really going to get people around the town. So streetcars might be the one that we have to do. We can also enable streetcar tracks, which, hmm, again, not really beneficial at the minute. So why don't we upgrade the roads, and let's see what we can do with this. So we'll pretty much just start here. High density streetcar for the streetcar, for the streetcar, boys. So these ones only have got to upgrade a little bit. Because they're already kind of like at a highway level. And it's the ones going up this way. So I don't really have much I can do with them at the minute. But I suppose even the smallest amount of strips at which we can place public transport down will might alleviate some traffic. So I've always got to think of the, the, the benefits, haven't I? Just got to keep thinking of those benefits, boys. Alright. Upgrade as much as I can. And it pretty much just ends there, to be honest with you. So, to drop down the streetcar depot, i got to squeeze this in somewhere. The question is where? Where, where, where? Not there. Not there. I mean, I could do it here, but I don't want to demolish too much. We could... I mean, we've got a lot of factories up here right now. Why don't I just squeeze it in here? Oh, I hated doing that then. And then drop you there, you there. Alright, one there, one there. Alright, load of streetcars down. There we go. And then we might as well just max out the station to get as many um, vehicles on it. So we can have up to six, which is now going to destroy. The building's at the back. Oh, I'm zooming out. What's going on? There we go. Get the little sign down. There we go. So, maximize the amount of streetcars that can travel around. Even if only like 10% of the, you know, commuters use it, it's good enough for me because we, we reduce the traffic by 10%. But we'll see. Sometimes it can be also be a hindrance because they can cause traffic. But we'll just see what happens. Right, student numbers are increasing. we got to wait now to get to the next stage of 2,000 students. That should hopefully just increase over time. We're at 1,299 at the minute. Um, it's still early in the morning, so to get that already, it's pretty good. Anybody using these streetcars? I don't know. I 
You don't know. Nobody new wants to go into the classes. Right, is that a lot of people about to walk in? Are they walking out? I can't decide. <gasps> Whoa, we jumped up to 1,750. Holy moly. Right, apparently you can upgrade this building. We can upgrade this building as well. Why can I add to it? So I've already added a, a few little bits and bobs to it. We got the eagle on the roof. The fountain. And all that jazz. I can drop down the mayor's barbecue pa um, patio. I can do the balcony area. Which can go at the side. And that's all I can do right now until I upgrade one more time. It's going to be quite a nice little building that is to be honest with you. It really is. Right, how's this doing right now? Oh, we could upgrade it. Yes, boys. Yes. So upgrade it by editing it. And now we got the choice to do the medicine, which reduces the uh, chance of citizens getting sick. Uh, the school of law. Uh, low, uh, okay, less criminals, basically. Uh, increases low and medium wealth industrial profit across the city for the engineering. Uh, get your students to do business, attend, increases the commercial profit across the city. Let's do the school of business. Right, and let's drop that there. School of business. And how much is it costing us to run right now? 5,100. Damn, that's expensive, isn't it? But this university is freaking glorious right now. Glorious, I tell thee. Right, a lot more upgrades are now happening around the city. Oh, are we getting some... The industry is actually upgrading. Don't tell me we're about to get some high-tech stuff going down right now. We'll find out when it's built. But they're looking like pretty big industrial buildings right now, just saying. Just saying, guys. 78,000 population. But that's a different colour building complex for the industrial. Maybe because it's a smaller building, I don't know. But we'll see what happens. We're going to break that record as well and go to the next stage. I'm a genius. Right, what level are you? Okay, tech level is still one, but... The fact that you've upgraded to that stage is good. What are you? Ooh, oh, there we go. Tech level three. Tech level three. There we go, boys. Um, wasn't there something that we needed to do to get so many of those thingamajigs? I can't remember. Ah, oh, ele electronics. That's what it was. We could create electronic industry. So to create these, we need to import alloy and plastic from the global market. And we can then create, um, was it TV? Pro is it create processors? I can't quite remember what it was. But how big is the building? Can I squeeze it up over here? Take advantage of one of these areas. The question is, what area do I take advantage of? Maybe this area. Right, unfortunately, I'm going to get rid of this strip here. They're going to hate me for it. But I can do electronics. This is amazing. Right, there's nothing to go on that corner bit. So if I drop that there. Now this can produce processors. But it does mean I've got to import alloy and plastics. Which is a shame. But what I could do is get rid of this garbage dump. Actually, no, not get rid of it just yet. But I could... Oh, we having sewage issues right now? A little bit. Oh, and water issues? Holy smokes. Where's my water in this city? Uh, over here. Let me edit it to add some stuff onto it. So, filtration pump, average water filter, uh, yeah. So what's the difference? Well, that one does a little bit more, doesn't it, really? Okay, that pumps us right up right now, which is good. Right, sewage issues are not that bad just yet. They are quite bad. Yeah, they are quite bad. So let me add another one, little one onto this. Just there. Fast forward that. 
There we go. Okay, we're back to normal. We're back to normal. Back to normal. Back to normal. Uh, okay, what I was going to say then it was, in terms of garbage, where's garbage? To get some plastics coming in, I could place down the recycling center, which does kind of get some plastics coming in. It's quite a large building. It's quite an expensive building. But if I'm making um, processors, they're going to be worth quite a bit of change. Now, I don't have any... No, I do, sorry. Trade depot just here. So, if I... We've got oil there. If I set it up to where we've got plastics in one of them... Plastic storage... Right, now, if I place that there, it's going to delete that building, so I might as well just drop it here. And... We needed... Alloy as well, wasn't it? Yeah. So I drop that there. So if I go to the global market and I'm pretty much plastics used locally or we import it. Now, plastics we use locally, alloy we're going to import. Then that will get what it needs to get. And once we start producing processors, we'll then sell them and make a nice chunk of change. Whew. It's quite a lot, isn't it? It is quite crazy. Right, where are all these vehicles going? Over to here? Whatever that place is, it's got a load of workers. So, no recyclables just yet. And it does take time because we kind of have to wait till they can start collecting all the bins again and whatnot. I think I'm going to add to this, is there? We got a... Oh, we can add a few more trucks. That will kind of help us out. There we go. Uh, metal re reclamation line converts recyclables into metal. We don't need any of those. We already have set up... Well, oh, oh, hello! We have an alloy. So converts recyclables into alloy. That deliver to your... Tr I, don't, I don't then need to... Is that just like the plastics? Yeah. If I drop that down, then I don't really need to import alloy because I can get it from the recyclables. So making processors will be a slow process. So really, if I edit this, plastic there is alloy storage. Right, delete you. Delete you. I could then drop down, when we're ready to go, the processors one. And I won't export straight away, but when, when we've got enough, we can export it, which will be good. So how much do you get for that, anyway? 100,000. Oh my good god. So I have a high-tech industry based off recycling from this city. This is freaking genius! So that will produce plastic and alloy. I need alloy and plastic, plastic and alloy. To produce processors. Oh, genius, boys, genius. Right, how you doing over here? Still doing good? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, I've got to wait 12 hours to get plus 80% rating, but I think my rating's gone down slightly when um, I deleted a load of buildings. <laughs> so I can't really help that, I'm afraid. I can't really help it. But we're up to 81,000 population. This is going to be like a New York-style city, this is. It's actually going to be pretty good. And we've got these high-tech factories now lining up. Which is good to see. I might I might even eventually get rid of the oil well. To make room for some other stuff. So that's going to be good. Uh, but yeah, but like I said, it'll take a while anyway. For the, all this to kind of get rocking and rolling. But damn, do we have... It. Oh, we're less than... We're just over 400 away from completing that goal. Holy moly. I like it. This is good stuff. Very good stuff right now. So yeah, having that little business school down right now means our commercial made a little bit extra chunk of change. Uh, unemployment. Is it high? No one... Oh, damn. Okay, there's no unemployment. So everyone's got a job. 
everyone has got a job right now. Population is on the increase. Uh, I'll pay back this loan, so I'm now technically debt free. I'm making 15,500 an hour. Le just over 200 to go. Less than 200 to go. Can I upgrade? Will it get me there? I'm so close. So close right now to completing that. Just over 100 to go right now. Come on, give me that another upgrade. Give me another upgrade, boys. I can feel it coming. Don't tease me right now. Come on. 11 more people to go. Don't stop at 11 more people to go right now. Look at that. It is ridiculously close. That is ridiculously close. Don't even play these games. Everyone's going home, aren't they? Yeah, everyone's legit going home. It ain't gonna happen. Not today anyway, but that's good to see. So 95,000 residents right now. Any abandoned buildings? We have one abandoned building just over here, and that's due to no shoppers. Which is quite surprising, considering the amount of people that live in this area. Very surprised by that. So, how long until we get the plastics coming in? You need a thousand to be able to export. Again, it's all based off when they collect the goods. And by the goods, what I mean is the garbage. <laughs> right, okay. So, we have the grade school in over there. We don't have a high school. Nor do we have a college. I don't know if we need those. And to be honest with you, why don't I take a look at maybe an attraction or a stadium? An expo center? A pro stadium? Oh man. How big is it? It's huge. Okay, maybe not. Expo Center, that's huge as well. I didn't realize how big these was. Could you imagine though? What do you get out of it from in terms of benefits? Oh, you get profit. That you get profit as well. So there's not really much going on in this little area. But it wastes a lot of room. That is almost fills the air up, but again, it wastes a lot of room. That fits this almost perfect. But there's buildings up and around it. I could pull it there and only lose these buildings. Should I do it? There we go. So I'm going to have lost a little bit of population there, but what I get back in return for it is a beautiful expo area, which is going to pay me out a lot of money. So that's quite cool. I don't know how I feel about that just yet, but it seems quite cool. Right, power. Where is my power plant? Over here. This has done pretty well. It's managed to keep us going this long. So we can do a conventional oil generator. I can do a combustion turbine generator. Which... Burns less barrels, produces the same amount of power. Pull it on top. So fast forward then. Okay, there we go. I won't have to upgrade or change that again at some point. Sewage, are we having more sewage issues? Yeah. So let's edit this bad boy then. I, don't know, I might as well just drop two more on it. Which puts us way above the needs. Right there. So that will pump all the sewage in right now. And we're okay with all the needs then. Um, still making 16,000 an hour right now. Which is good to see. Hopefully this day we go above what we need to do. Let's schedule an event then. Oh, this is okay. Right, we can schedule an actual event. I can do motocross, which is... Oh, okay, so it costs you money, but you can get profit from it. Um, so motocross, a sports event, 
Ooh. A rock concert? Right, shall I just go for the middle one? Because I don't know how well this is going to do. Right, we'll do a sports event. It could be like like basketball sports event. We don't know. But what do I need to do? Do I need to... Ah, okay. So as it fills the capacity, the money goes down until a point where we either break even or make a profit. That's pretty cool. Isn't it? That's, that's actually pretty cool, that is. Can I, be, can I come off that road? Yeah, I'm going to come off these roads here. I know they're not really connected that well, but if I can get like a back connection, that would be pretty handy. So, oh, there we go. So we, we've paid off the debts, and now everything that we're making right now is pure profit. So we could walk away with like 8,000. Over time, that's going to be a huge money maker. The only thing is i got to make sure that I remember. Oh, come on. Look how close we are right now. Yeah, look, i just got to make sure I remember we keep scheduling events. Otherwise, you know, it's going to be kind of pointless. 20 more students. 19 more students. Come on, guys. Get those people. There we go. Upgrade. Boom. And that's now making, well, costing me. Yeah, still, still the same. It's not until I uh, drop down the next building so engineering um so if i drop this down i get local access granted hazmat garage and large fire station at the large fire station sorry what did these give me okay that didn't give me anything that didn't that doesn't give me anything that doesn't so getting the engineering down not only does it unlock other stuff like the power plant get that new generator too but you get the hazmat garage at the fire station which will be kind of handy. The question is, where do I drop this? Hmm. I'm just going to have to squeeze it there. That's a place where nothing's really going to get messed up. Um, right, the event's now happening, as you can now see. Current payout, 70,000. When does it end? Oh, starts at 8pm. Oh, it's only like 4pm. We could have a sellout crowd right now. I think we're going to have a sellout crowd. And we're going to walk away with the maximum money. There are so many people driving in right now. Like how much money I'm going to walk away with. So the last few people are now arriving. Is it sell out? 3,000 out of 3,000. I'm going to walk away with 135,000 after that event's complete. Okay, I think we can definitely go for the rock concert, the maximum one. I think we can definitely go for that. Uh, oh, just realized, 130,000 people now live here. That's ridiculous. Also the fire station. The hazmat garage. Well, oh, squeezing one of those in. Right, I'm going to max out this whole fire station right now. That whole fire station is now maxed out. It cost me 12000 an hour to run. But I could, like, if I go to my region, I can volunteer vehicles over there. So if I do one of each vehicle, to Fulio Hills, that would just kind of help out those guys when it comes to the fire department side of things. Because I know they do struggle at times. Uh, water, we need more water right now. Is the water going down in that area? It kind of is. Um, right, this, is gonna, this might be a slight problem. I'm going to suck up all the water right now, aren't I? Hmm. That is going to be a major problem. Can I buy water from over there? Uh, buy. It's not enough. Right, let me load that town up right now and drop a couple of water sources in so we can buy water from Fulio Hills. Because we're kind of struggling in that town, aren't we? We kind of are. Oh, I can't get any money from loans. Uh, what is the water situation like over here then? Actually, where is the water source? We have one there and there. To get one of these at 40,400 an hour. Right, okay. 
Right, I wonder with all the new utilities, uh, well not utilities, I wonder with all the new stuff in Fool's Paradise, will these guys then slowly start upgrading because they can utilize it by traveling there? So this city will be then classed as an overspill from Fool's Paradise? I'm hoping so. There's a nice few big buildings over there about to upgrade. What's the fire like here? I might say we should have good coverage because we've got vehicles volunteering over here. Police side of things, there's no crimes committed right now. Which is another good thing. We've got a seven abandoned buildings. Which they're still complaining about shoppers and not enough shops or parks, which I find really weird. And quite frankly annoying at times. We just need that money to come in. Um Right, so we do the old trick when the arrow ends, we up the taxes. So if I pushed it all the way to the top then, we're going to walk away with an extra 6 G's in the bank. There we go, and bring it back down so everyone stays living in the city. It's my little trick I like to do. Then bring it back up. And wait for the arrow to pass. And then bring it back down. <laughs> I like to do that little bit of a trick there. Right, okay. So, we now got 30,000. I could drop down a load of these, but you're not really getting much power. I need one of these that goes 80. And I can buy all the excess water from this city to Fool's Paradise. Where am I going to place it? Hmm. I might just literally just drop it along here somewhere, there. And then just like take advantage as much as possible. So we've almost got enough money. We're slowly getting there. So we are starting to increase the population here a little bit. Buildings are slowly upgrading as now utilize Fool's Paradise. So it's slowly happening in this town. Slowly happening. We've gone down another dip in the population. But we are now slowly going back up. I can only have fingers crossed right now. Um, right. So get ready to up this again. So we have nearly 7,000 coming in this time. That would be nice. Boom, there we go. So it was just 40,000 I needed, right? So, where's the water? There we go. I'm going to drop it here then to maximize what I can get out of this. So, that should be excessive. Look at that. 109 units that we could potentially use. But the whole point of that is Fool's Paradise can now buy it. More than enough to what it needs. I'm running out of water over there. Really bad as well. I'm not sure what happens when we run out of water. I'm not sure what we're meant to do at that point. Can... Hold on. Sewage treatment plant. We don't have one of these, do we? Or do we... Where am I? No, it's what we do have. I'm wondering, like... No. If there was going to be something that we could, like, do to... Hold on, what about over here? Like, we could recycle old water. That would have been handy. So we're at zero right now because we're buying so much. But we can afford to do so to keep this city running. So that kind of saves our bacon slightly, doesn't it? It really does. And now we're ticking along. Have we... Uh... Oh, oh, snap. We've actually 
got some processing going on over here. So that should take it to the storage section for the processors. Sell it. And we're about to get 100k coming in, boys, from processors right now. So that's, there we go. It's there. Once that sells, 100k in the bank. Oh, the event money we've now got. So let's schedule another one. Is it the rock concert? Yeah. 156,000 we could get. Right, definitely doing that one next. But I'm just waiting for us to um, export those processors. And then we have got money for days right now. Right, my approval rating is still not quite there. You can see the maps right now. And the different variations of stuff. The happiness. Who's not happy? These guys aren't happy. They've got no water. Don't worry, water's coming in. Do not fret. Do not fret right now. we got a nice big block of water over here. I've sucked it dry over there. It's not really too good, is it? It's shocking, mate. It's shocking. So is there any way I can like, buy or drop down these little small ones to kind of like take advantage? Gonna have to do it here. Just, just to try and slightly take advantage. Ah, oh, it's bad. It's bad news. It really is bad news. More upgrades happening over here, though. That's good to see. People coming into the event. They will be soon. Look at the amount of traffic over here. Those, ro those roads as well are fully maxed out. There's not really much I can do about them. That train station's overworked. Do I put another train station over here? Maybe. Do we export the processors? Not yet. We still haven't exported them. Um, it's because I don't have them on export. That's why. So export them then. They'll be gone soon. Nice 100,000 in the bank. I never would have thought I would have got a residential town to make us nearly have a, nearly a million dollars in the bank. It seems ridiculous. It really does. We've got 200,000 of it right now to export. Damn, son. That's a lot of money. Uh, okay, they're starting to come over here right now. We're starting to get a little bit of a payout coming in, which is going to be good. That's going to be really good. Any abandoned buildings? Only one. Where is it? Over here? Couldn't find work. Right. I always press that button. I don't know why. Do I place down factories or shopping? We'll do shopping down to there. See if we can get some factories just in here. Extra workplaces. And we exported the processors. Made 100,000 right now. Have over a million dollars in the bank right now. This payout's getting bigger and bigger right now. It's all happening. Right freaking now. Unemployment doesn't exist. We provided more jobs. Got 164,000 people living here. We need 4,500 students to upgrade it one more time. But it's looking real good right now. What much more can I do? I am a freaking god in this city. I bet you I won't be able to build another city quite like this. And I think on that note, guys, we are going to end it for here. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. <laughs>